Hi again, the Clever Dev here, and today we're going to look at the Material UI Icon Button component. So it is actually a separate component than the button, but very similar. And um, you can even see in the DOM that they both use the button element. And so today I'm going to first look at what are some of the differences in the two components. Uh, there are some props that are available for button that are not available for the uh, Icon Button. And then most of the time I will spend just getting the default styling in place, or excuse me, getting some styling in place. And uh, really the icon button default styling um, is just like far less, there's far less of it than there is on the regular um, material UI button component. So you kind of have a clean slate to start uh, your styling. So anyway, if you're interested in learning about this, then stick around. All right, here we are again, and I have removed the styling that I showed in the intro, and we just have a very basic and default uh, icon button here, very basic default um, material UI button component right here. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm not really going to add much styling to the button component, but just right off the bat, I will use two props that are available, and I will add the uh, contain variant see what that does. So that adds quite a bit of upstyling here. We can see the, the nice uh, background and fill. And um, I will also add size large, just so we can see what that does. And it helped if I had good syntax here. There we go. Get those commas off of there. So um, with the large, what we can see is that it actually just increased the interior padding. It didn't really increase the size of the button uh, as we might expect given the name of the prop. So that's really all that I'm going to do to the button. I just wanted to get that in place so that we have something to uh, contrast the icon button with. Um, so given that, oh, and I also should mention that there is a link to any of the, the code that we're working on in here. I will have a link to uh, my site where I have all that code and um, really explained it in detail. Um, and also, there is a link to a fantastic material UI course that's on Udemy, and I did not create it, but I am in touch with the creator of it. And um, if you're interested in that, then I recommend that you check out that material UI course on Udemy. It's really fantastic. It's As far as Udemy goes, it's relatively inexpensive um, for a course, and it's 40 hours of content, so really some fantastic stuff. So given that, um, let's move on to actually digging into the DOM here on the icon button itself. And I do want to mention, so you, know, you saw when I was selecting an element, uh, I have a little bit of scaffolding in place. I have a couple divs that are wrapping it, uh, the icon button and a div wrapping the button. For the most part, that's just for um, getting everything centered and nicely spaced. Um, the div around the icon button if I wanted to then if you wanted to align the icon button then uh, all right so given that we added that flex end in there then that would be the method for aligning that button if you wanted to see that um, but for now I'm just gonna leave it at center and have these two just really be contrasted one above the other so let's dig into the DOM here on this button so we see first thing compared to the material UI button, the base classes on it are a little bit different. So we have MUI icon button root here, and down here we have um, MUI button contained. In this case, we have MUI button root right here, and I added that contained variant, MUI button contained. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just show you an interesting thing that happens when I try and add this variant up here. You'll see so I saw that uh, the variant contained is added, so that I've, I've ensured that my web page is actually refreshed, but you see there's no change. So variant is for buttons. Um, if you wanted to create an icon button variant, you'd actually have to go into your theme and create a new variant for it. So cool feature of MUI version five is that you can actually create new, new variants. Um, common use case for that would be buttons, which already have a couple variants, but you can create them for any component. So I could create one for the icon button. But anyway, the variants do not work right off the bat uh, for the icon button. So anyway, I also will add in the size equals large, just so that we can see 
Um, it's a little hard to tell. We, we kind of saw the, the text bump up a little bit there, so that was interesting. Um, but until we have a border on it, then it's really not easy to see the differences with the different size props. Um, but I can tell you, just having dug into it some, then we might even didn't be able to see it here. So adding that size prop put this padding at 12 all around. And if we change it to, I'll just bump it back down to medium, which is also the default. We will see that bumps down to eight and small. I think it was five, strangely, but maybe I'm remembering that wrong. Yeah, five. I don't know why it's not four. That would seem more uh, even and consistent, but it's not. So I'll go ahead and leave that at large. So as far as props go, that's really all that I'm gonna look at, compare and contrast. Beyond that, I just wanna get into the styling. Um, really, I'm not gonna look at anything that's too in depth with the styling. Um, as far as scaffolding goes, what I've already coded, I just have the styles const, this object that I'm gonna pass to the SX prop. Button styles, um, in my link to my actual site where the code is, then I fiddled around with the size a little bit, but for this video, I'm not gonna actually add any um, styling to the button using the SX prop. You could also do all of this using the new styles API, both SX and styles are new to MUI version five. Um, previous versions had access to styled components, but it wasn't nearly as smooth and seamless as it is now in version five. So anyway, um, some good stuff here. So like I said, I'm just gonna get into the basics first. Let's say a width of, oh, let's say 40%, so it's not too wild. And you can add a height, I'll add a height of, let's just say 80 pixels. Um, common thing I like to do is um, a minimum width and a minimum height. It still leaves a dynamic aspect in terms of if your content's bigger than you expected, then it can grow as needed, but you're given a guaranteed minimum. Um, so I like that a lot. Um, anyway, next thing I really need to do is add a border on here. So like I said, without variance, then you just have to manually add a border. And I'm just gonna do the 4px solid gray. So the border does help us see some of this default styling. Another difference uh, is obviously this has a different border radius than this does. Uh, the border radius on the button, I forget, I'm, I think it's 4px. We could dig into the DOM, but I'm not gonna take the time. Um, it's 50% on the icon button by default. And the reason that the icon button and uh, that it doesn't have a border and that it doesn't, and that it has such a uh, significant border radius is the icon button is really, generally the use case of it is not to look like a button. The use case is literally usually something more like this. Usually you just wanna have an icon that's clickable and I wouldn't even have this big size on it. Um, that makes it so obvious that there's a lot of um, extra unused space. So, however, uh, where I get the content ideas for these videos is really I just look at what people, what keywords people are researching, uh, are searching for in Google. And I can see that there's a lot of people trying to style the icon button um, with border and so on. So since some people somewhere have those use cases, then I'm gonna address them in this video. Um, I had a thought, I'm trying to remember. Oh yes, an important thing. When I removed the test text and the uh, border there, then we saw how small this icon is um, compared to the whole button size. So just a quick note before we keep going with this, with the SX prop and adding more styles, if you want to update your font size, I tried it both at the um, parent button level, the parent icon button level, and also at the actual um, icon level. And it actually was a more, it was effective to use it here instead of, instead of at the parent level. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe a little bit big for this, but you get the idea. Um, so maybe I'll bump that down to 50 or so. Yeah, that's a little better. So anyway, um, that's a very important thing to take note of and to be able to use. 
So anyway, let's keep on going with our styling. Not really a whole lot more that I want to show off with this, but um, I'll add, uh, you could add a margin to the bottom if you wanted. And of course you can access uh, the, the styling system. Like I could just say two, and I believe that's eight pixels if I remember right. And won't really be too obvious that I did that here because I already had quite a bit of margin. So I'll actually remove that for the moment, and let's say a border radius. Got to, got to change that really, uh, way too big border radius to something more reasonable. Let's just say two, and I'll dive in here. Let's see. Probably easier to have just found it in the DOM. Hmm, that's interesting. So not seeing it right off the bat there. But I know it's in here. Here we go. Here's our border radius of 8px. So if I flip that to 1, I think that might be more in line with the icon button, or with the actual regular button down here with its default. If I can't find it real fast, then oh, there it is, 4px, yeah. So by default, this one's a 4px border radius also. So that's good to know. I'll keep those in sync with each other just to, uh, um, you know, show how to get from icon button to, to the button that they've created uh, with their default styling in MUI. So let's add a background color, actually, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do it here. I was thinking about putting it up a little bit higher, you know, making things alphabetical. That's always good practice, but not going to worry about it right now. Let's add a teal background color. And so you'll see that change the background color. And um, I will add a color, just let's say yellow. And that trickles down to the icon that is wrapped by this icon button. So one last thing that I want to show, if you, um, I showed how to right align the entire button, uh, the entire icon button wrapped in this div down here, just put some justify content. Um, however, I would also actually like to show how within the button itself, you can actually write, a, you can right or left align content. So you can actually add a display flex here and justify content. And let's add a flex into that. And there we go. It actually bumped our icon over inside and our text inside of our icon button without bumping the entire button over. So with that said, uh, I think that's really a pretty good dive into the icon button and just some of the differences with the MUI button. Um, so if this was helpful, I would appreciate uh, if you just thumbs up and subscribe and um, I appreciate your time and hope it was a helpful video for you.